that there was a young man who was supposed to be on a full ride football scholarship um, and had a psychotic break. He was at a, a sort of a training camp and a motivational camp and while he was there had a completely psychotic break, started driving down the freeway going well over 100 miles an hour. Um, his brother tried to chase him down and luckily got him to the side of the road and because the, the car broke down actually um, and brought him in and he uh, again he self-reported that he had been dabbing among other things so again it's always difficult to say right, ex sure. that's specifically but I never saw those cases before but he had been dabbing and after the dabbing um, I followed up five days later and he was still on the inpatient psychiatric ward and they couldn't get him to keep his clothes on and this was somebody who was on a full ride football scholarship. So the consequences are are are, are vast and yeah. far reaching. And that's the and thing that most changing. people don't know about is the psychosis that can come from it. You know, one of the other cases I wrote about in that article is the young man who was seeing ghosts. Um, they're often having very active and vivid hallucinations, and they can run the gambit of what those hallucinations are. And in that specific example, was seeing ghosts that told him to kill himself. So we did, and tried three times. Wow. And because of the lack of specific data, so what we have is great studies that show correlation. Um, there was that great study out of Sweden that had 40, I think 50 some thousand kids they looked at, and they right. looked at the increased incidence of, of schizophrenia that developed. And there are numerous studies that go along with that that show a very strong correlation between cannabis use, and not only just use, but the amount of use and potency of the cannabis involved, directly correlating that with schizophrenia. But there's always this, when do we get to causation part of that? And most people will sit and say, well, he could have been schizophrenic. It could have been just a large amount of stress he was under. It could have been the other drugs he was using. It could have been a bad family experience. You, you name it, there's a number of things that it could have been aside from the cannabis. And so to, to start to pinpoint these people down and say, look, there's nothing else that's causing this. And we see this repeatedly from cannabis over and over and over again it's really hard to get them to start believing and, and come to that understanding that that uh, it, it is indeed the cannabis that they're using and that the higher potency and the more frequently they use it, the more likely they're going to have psychotic symptoms.